This uh, Quranic manuscript held at the University of Birmingham forms part of our Mingana collection of Middle Eastern manuscripts in the Cabra Research Library. We've recently made a very exciting discovery. We've had the manuscript radiocarbon dated and it's proved to be one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts in the world. The dating of this manuscript is a, a great discovery for the university. We're now aware of a genuine treasure in the University of Birmingham Special Collections, a treasure that is of global significance to Muslim heritage and to the study of Islam, as well as being a source of great pride to the local community. The context of the Birmingham manuscript, if it is what we now think it is, is very important indeed. Islam is associated, of course, with the Prophet Muhammad, and he lived in the late 6th and early 7th century. Now, this manuscript could well have been written just after he died. The parts of the Quran that are contained in those fragments are very similar indeed to the Quran as we have it today. And so this tends to support the view that um, the Quran um, that we now have is more or less very close indeed to the Quran as it uh, was brought together in the early years of Islam. The two leaves that have been carbon dating were put together with other seven leaves uh, coming from another manuscript and probably they were put together in the same manuscript, uh, the 1572, uh, because of the similar script. The script is the Hijazi script, uh, called also uh, Ma'il script, that means slanting because of the characteristic of the script. I am honored to see this manuscript, which is very unique, which goes back to very early stages of Islam, and I think it was written in the period of third Khalifa, Hazrat Usman Ghani Razir Tala Anho. And all the Muslims in the world would love to see this manuscript. Okay, was bir nafsa kama al-lazina yadhuna rabbahum bil ghadati wal hashi yuriduna wajha la ta'du aynaka no, wala 